a lot of you may know since PLV7, the huge big Falcon team has getting, you know, decoupled to a lot of like smaller teams. And over the time, uh, we have Byrox working on market problems. Uh, there will be tickets, I swear. Uh, the Lotus team has trying to find our own like definition, our own entity in the whole Falcon community and ecosystem team. So that's what we are sharing here today with you, like what our thinking is. Uh, on the left side, as you can see, we're a small team still. We have eight, eight folks with four engineers and four uh, technical support engineers that have been super helpful for a lot of the things. Uh, our mission and scope first is like we serve our coin network. Uh, we ship the protocol along with other implementation and teams. We want to make sure all the node operators can run a Lotus a node and talk to the network, talk to the chain, building their application. Developers is a huge, huge focus uh, for our like user group. Uh, as you may already know, Lotus is slowly stepping back from the market development. However, we want to be able to, to enable folks like Baroque engineers to build a uh, market protocols on top of Lotus. Uh, and also when the FEM is coming, we want to make sure that developers can also have a very good uh, uh, experience, basically like on um, block enable a lot of use case on top of Falcoin. That's why we think the developer is a super important community that Lotus should like focus on. The other one, we don't have to, to say storage providers. We need them to get like, you know, uh, all these uh, data into the network. Uh, and also like user support. We want to make sure that, you know, we maintain a good open source like community uh, and help us further build the Falcoin network. And next slide, please. So that's our mission scope. And how do we ship all these things? So we have a bunch of things like Lotus trying to do. Uh, so most of you will be curious. I feel like uh, the P2P IPLD we have been, uh, and Proof team, we have been working uh, very closely to get their stack also shipped in Lotus as we are a user of uh, their tech. So how Lotus does things today is like we ship monthly feature releases, which always is an optional release. Uh, it includes a lot of like shiny things, new features. We are still like shipping on like a go fuel market that kind of works behalf, like all those shiny things going into that. But mostly we are focused on maintenance a lot. We spend a lot of time to do bug fixes, like pay off the uh, tech that just to make sure our user can be happy they and use the Lotus in their production line stably. And we also have mandatory release, which is for network upgrade. Those are like less, you know, stable on the timeline because like, whatever Falcon needs an upgrade, we will do the same. Uh, as you can see here in the screenshot, we, had, we haven't been missing a monthly future release uh, for, I would say eight months now. Even when we ship like mandatory network upgrade release, we also make sure we keep the uh, future releases going just to make sure all the development in master is, uh, is shipped. So how can we get the things developed and like you know coordinate into these releases? So we have a, a set of like processes. So first to start with, we start our day in the team with cat and memes, as you already know. Uh, you can see here, these are our Lotus cat. And we also have memes going on. So to make our life a little bit more fun, get into the real work. So a lot of time that is our technical support engineering team is doing is to make sure that we charge the incoming issues in GitHub or like in Slack or GitHub discussion within 48 hours. So the dev team knows the immediate thing that needs to be looked at to make sure nothing broke. And also to feed into our backlog of the things. Uh, next slide, please. There are things that it's like, oh my God, you have to fix that immediately, otherwise Falcon network may die. But a lot of the other things will be going into the Lotus backlog. So basically our TS team TSC team will be putting out this like weekly charge summary, which feed into our spring planning. Um, before I get into the spring planning, I do want to say another thing we do is like we do culture project backlog charge prioritization and roadmap planning. Because like Lotus is still trying to, it's still kind of like a, a stakeholder of the core development of the Falcon network. And because we are within PLN, working closely with a lot of other teams like protocol. Opportunity team, CLL, Consensus Lab, DRAN team, we kind of know more like what's coming, like, you know, uh, in the six months or a year basis. And that's why we try to keep everything in our backlog just just to keep everyone informed, including the Falcon Foundation and other, uh, other core apps. So we do a quarterly project back, uh, backlog charge just to help us understanding what's need to be in the next network upgrade and start planning. 
Uh, so for that, uh, so that's a cross we say, and we also within the Lotus, Andrew, uh, Lotus team, we have our bi-weekly thinking section. So this is a time we, you know, a lot of other teams is doing amazing work in the ecosystem. It's hard to keep up. So this is our chance to catch up with the world and, you know, to, just like to understand like what may be ready to come to us and have we have to be the shipping ship of their work. Uh, so this is the part we trying to understand the problem needs to be solved and learn a lot of the new work that other people are doing, like DRAM, time encryption, or like sharding and all those things. After all this planning and like uh, backlog feeding, we do our monthly spring planning. Uh, so basically this is like a week before the uh, before the cold freeze, we will pick up what are we going to ship for the next week. We will make sure that we have bug to, uh, to be analysis, uh, implementing some like low hanging fruit features and implementing the projects that's in our roadmap. Uh, next slide. We're almost done. Uh, and uh, so those are all the development work, work we're trying to do. Uh, and on on like community engagement and project management, we also have weekly community updates that's shared in Phil Lotus announcement channel. Uh, I will suggest you, uh, I will like recommend you to, to join that channel to get the timely updates from our team. Uh, we are also generating library reports just to inform you uh, all the feedbacks we're getting from the Filecoin community in general, what their pain points are what are the use case new use cases people are looking forward to so that we can unblock them so like as you already know we always have a lot of things going on however we do want to say like we welcome all the incoming requests to get into our backlog we cannot guarantee when we can get into that but we commit that we will you know eventually go through them uh, one by one by by with you guys or like with grants or external teams so it can be super helpful if you give us precise ask on like the problem and the issue and what the user story and what the pain points is are like those can help us prioritize all these requests and you are running a new project, for example, or a program for like Evergreen or Slingshot, you need our support to like, you know, just to like set a good foundation of the program. Let us know if you give us like one to, two, one to three months of like lead time, we probably can find time to work with you and be responsive with your participants. The other thing we wanna do is like onboarding and support the open source co uh, contributors. Uh, so if you know any dev team that can be good, for us to collaborate, please let us know. We want to establish those uh, relationships. Yes, said a lot of things. So how can you actually find us? Uh, again, uh, create the issue is always the way to go. Lotus is our uh, GitHub repository, or you can go in, go to the built-in actor where one of the co-maintainer of that as well. We are very responsive in the public feel Lotus dev channel, even more responsive than the DMs. Uh, but if you want to reach out to our team, uh, like having a meeting, have a have a talk or whatever, you can reach out to me in DM as well at Jenny Juju. But again, I check the public channel more often. We do have office hours, but honestly, just join the field office most of our, our engineers just like, love hanging out there. So like, if you want to talk to us, join the office. Uh, everything I just presented you, you see the public notion page, there's a link there. You can see our roadmap, our release schedule, our mission and scope, everything there. And we started our Twitter account early this year and we started to trying to build our own profile there. So followers and likes are highly appreciated. Um, that's that.